Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 13 of receiving communion together. I'm so glad you joined us on this beautiful Saturday. It's a little bit gray out, but it's a beautiful day to be alive in the Lord. And today I just want to read the scripture, um, Romans 12, 2. And um, in our email, James presents just some thoughts for us to ponder as we're receiving communion today. But let's read that verse first, and then we'll go into what we're pondering. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So today, um, as we partake of communion, let's reflect upon that theme of transformation. I mean, we get to be transformed into the image of Jesus Christ. Each one of us are a beautiful display, a reflection, a revelation of who he is. So being transformed into his image is not about becoming um, like clones of Jesus, but becoming the full reflection of who he has created us to be. That dream that the Father dreamed us into, um, in, into existence, uh, that from, thing from his heart that we are to express. Each one of us are a different part, a unique part of the body of Christ. So no part needs to be the same. It shouldn't look the same. It shouldn't function the same because we are created uniquely in his image. So today, as we receive his body, let's thank him. Jesus, we thank you for your broken body because in your, the brokenness that you took on on our behalf, you have healed our brokenheartedness. You have healed and restored our identity. You have transformed us into the being that you created us to be. We are being formed into that image. We are walking it out. We are learning to live as new creatures in Christ. And we thank you because of your sacrifice, our healing could happen. So we receive your blood, your body today. And we receive your, the power of your blood. We receive the power of your blood to transform us, to not take, to take us out of death and put us into life. We are no longer in death structures. We are no longer under sin's authority. We are now new creatures in Christ. We are redeemed. We're set free and we're learning how to live free, transformed lives. So today we ask that you would just continue the transformation process, that you would continue to renew our thinking, that even as we ponder the scripture in Romans, that you would bring fresh a fresh take on it, that you would bring fresh revelation, Lord, that our, our mind, our thoughts would partner with yours, that they would align with yours, that we, our hearts and our motives and our our patterns of behavior, God, are being transformed and renewed, changed to reflect what it is to live as light beings, life beings, those full of life, full of God, in union with you. We thank you for this blood, the power of this blood that is transforming every area in your timing, Lord. We rest in confident faith that you are able to transform even the most difficult areas of our lives that we thought were impossible to change. God, you are working to bring about your purposes so that everything of our past flows through your blood and is changed and brought into right standing with you. Lord, we thank you for the power of your blood today to transform our lives. Have an amazing day. I look forward to hearing testimonies of your transformation as God moves you from glory to glory to glory in his victory. Have a blessed day.